Okay, guys. So I got some sleeping bags here I wanted to review and to show you some awesome gear because this is what we use when we're out there. Um, got four different ones, three different brands. So starting off with, I got a snuff pack over here. This is a WFS Iron Mountain and the WFS X Lite and a Coleman Exponent. I'm showing you guys these because this is definitely what we enjoy. These have been cheap and affordable for the most part and it's good gear. You know, really starting off with this one. This one's super light. A lot of the time I'll put this around my, my sleeping pad or something like that. If not, of course, in the summertime, I'll just use it by itself. This guy runs about $25 at any of your different sporting goods stores or online. It has a 1.4 point, pound bag and super lightweight, super comfortable, well insulated. Out of this little tiny guy that folds down in probably six by five inches, you get a great bag. And it's so lightweight at the same time, you know, in the summertime, if you want to focus on that, of course, it's always nice to go a little bit more minimalistic. You've got these guys here, and it's a great sleeping bag. So I wanted to show you these. I'm going to go through them pretty quick just because that's the way we should do that. So the WFS Iron Mountain, this is their 0 to 10 degree bag, and they got a 3 pound double hollow core layer with fiber insulation, 4.15 pound bag, weighs less than four times more of the X-Lite, but you get a lot bigger of a bag also. You could tell that from that, you this is a lot bigger than that other bag, of course, but you stay heck of warm and it's not a bad trade-off at all in comparison this is probably the most lightweight bag I have besides the snug pack they're really next to each other but this one packs down a heck of a lot well the snug packs packs down smaller honestly and so this thing is awesome I want to show you guys next to each other what they look like so we're going to get those out next to each other here in a moment. The Coleman Exponent. It is a 30 to 0 degree bag and it weighs 8 pounds 2 ounces. Pretty big nonetheless for 8 pounds and 2 ounces. Still, you're under 10 pounds with this thing, which is pretty nice. But it is a big bag. The reason they say a lot of the time they have those ranges I've noticed is with your mummy bags they have an expand a panel thing inside of it. With that expand a panel, if you zip it in and make it more of a mummy bag, then you get the extra degrees out of it, the lower temperature, of course. So that, that way, from there, you can really enjoy the added benefit. My favorite being the Snug Pack Elite 3. We spent about 40 bucks, I think they run from 40 to 60 at Walmart for the exponent by Coleman's. Um, at Dunham Sports I got my both of my WFS bags and it was 40 for the Iron Mountain. So that's not bad for a zero degree bag, 40 bucks. These Elite 3 snug packs are a little harder to find at a good price. You have to do some searching around online. We got ours for 60 bucks a piece a couple years ago pull this up here because see that's a pretty small bag it compresses down to probably about be 14 to 15 inches by 10 inches so that's not too bad at all for a zero degree sleeping bag from the elite one and the elite two and then the elite three are where your colder temperatures come into play the elite three of course being the equivalent of a zero degree bag for about five pound bag all together is what you're carrying you get this awesome super filled reflectotherm insulation where they say this is water repellent it's too completely wind repellent and antimicrobial antigermal even because of the reflective lining inside all the polyester on it so you have the polyester fill of course that's super thin lofting um, and you 
it just makes it that much better of a bag because it dries out a lot faster too. So you're not packing extra weight, it dries out faster, and yeah, becomes a pretty dang good bag. So I want to show you guys these next to each other so you get a size comparison of what they look like. Here's the WFS next to the Coleman sleeping bag. Let me come down here actually. There's that guy. See a lot of difference in that one. And then here's the difference of the snug pack to the WFS Iron Mountain. Really those are so much more similar to each other. You can see the expander panel that runs all the way down the snug pack. So you get your little extra room and that's where it becomes a 15 degree to 30 degree bag once you zip that shut. So I hope I showed you a lot of good stuff and that you'd have a good comparison in this video to good gear and that way give you a better idea of what might work for you out there. Alright, hope I see you all out there sometime. Have a good one.